Hey y'all, happy Friday. So we are going to go to Isaiah today to shore out this week. And this is Isaiah um, chapter 26, verse 3. One of my favorite verses about peace. So dig in with me here. It says, you will guard him and keep him in perfect peace and constant peace whose mind, both its inclination and its character, is stayed on you because he commits himself to you, leans on you, and hopes confidently in you. My goodness, that's full. You will guard him. All this, And this is saying of the Father, God will guard him. And I'm just going to replace that with me. God will guard me and keep me in perfect and constant peace because my mind, both my inclination and character is stayed on you because I commit myself to you, I lean on you, and I hope confidently in you. See, nothing else matters but God, that I am committed to him, I lean on him, and I hope confidently in him. And he will order everything else. If I keep my mind, did you hear that? The Lord, you will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace, whose mind is stayed on you. When my mind is stayed on him, I've not sold myself out to somebody else. I'm not looking for somebody else to meet my needs. I'm not looking for somebody else to give me peace. I'm not looking for somebody else to take care of my problems. He is my source. And I meditate and think on him. And that's, that's one of the words that I wanted to actually dig into is that it says, you will keep him, guard and keep him in perfect peace and in constant peace whose mind is stayed on you. The Amplified says whose inclination and character, whose mind, its inclination, the inclination of your mind is stayed on him. Well, inclination is not really a word that we use a lot, but in our study of Proverbs over the past um, weeks, on our daily devos, the live videos on Saturday, one of the verses that we read not too terribly long ago, it was Proverbs 5, um, 1, and it says, My son, be attentive to my wisdom and incline your ear to my understanding. Well, that incline in the King James it says to bow thine ear. To my understanding that we would tune into the Holy Spirit that we would tune into God's wisdom that we would um, another definition of, of bow that we would surrender to that we would turn our ears to him and so in that same way that we would bow our ear to hear his wisdom, to be submitted to his wisdom, that we would bow our mind to the Holy Spirit, that we would incline it, that it would be turned towards the Father and his way of doing and being right and what the truth of his word says. And that goes back to what we were reading in Romans where he says, um, let me get there. Where we set it. When those who are according to the Spirit are controlled by the desires of the Spirit and they set their minds on, we incline our minds, turn our minds, bow our minds, to seek those things which gratify the Holy Spirit. And when we do that, he says, you, God, will guard and keep him in perfect 
and constant peace. I don't know about you, but for me, that is worth the effort to keep my mind set on things of the Spirit. And I was talking to somebody the other day, and this is just a reminder to close out our week, but God is not a natural solution to any issue or problem you have. He is not bound by any he has, he has, there, are, there is nothing that is impossible or outside of his power. Authority, maybe, for another day. But power, he is able to do. And so, he's not a natural solution. He is a supernatural solution. He works outside of the constraints of the physical world. And so, when we set our mind on him, and we keep our mind stayed on who he is, it enables him to move in the supernatural realm to bring physical manifestation that you can't see otherwise. And so I just encourage you in that today. Keep your mind on him because his solutions are not bound by this physical world. That's Side note, but it, it is a word for right now, and so I just want to share that with you. He's not a natural solution. He's a supernatural solution. Keep your mind stayed on him, and he will keep you in perfect and constant peace. I'll see you later. Bye.